Well, big news dropped from Makita today. They're coming out with their own rolling packout-like system. Now, this is odd because they already have one. It's more like the sustainer like you'd see from Festool. In fact, it's compatible with the Festool system. But this one's new, it's different. They dropped a whole video on this. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna re react to the video. I don't normally do this, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna react to the video as we go. Let's jump into it. All right, I think we can see the big one that right there at the end is that it's made in the USA. Now we got more for this video, we're gonna follow through, but the other big takeaway is that this is a horizontal system rather than our typical kind of tower systems we see from everyone else. But let's see where they're gonna go with this. The Mac Track system is engineered to open any box without unstacking. All right, I just, that's a short clip, but I wanted to point out the other thing they're doing here is because they're going horizontal, the whole like drawer system like we've seen everyone migrating to, which is the drawer so you don't have to unpack everything to get to it. Well, they're, this is their way of addressing that. They can't really do the drawers. It'd be kind of odd with everything being really long and, and horizontal. The track mount lid with one hand latch release can be attached in either direction. Large comfort grip handles provide plenty of room to grab with larger hands. The glove friendly latches provide easy access while wearing bulky gloves. The hidden security tracker slot fits common tracking devices for additional security. The lids can be secured through a metal reinforced padlock eyelet. Well, I think most of that is pretty standard, what we're seeing on, on most of these kind of modular tool systems these days. Uh, I do like the bigger latches. I don't think there's anybody who's gonna be sitting there going, no, 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 they're, they're too easy to grasp or anything. I think the hidden air tag cubby hole there is I don't know, it feels a little gimmicky. It's easy enough to glue an AirTag in someplace. Uh, it's, it almost feels like there was already a cubby there and someone went, hey, we can fit an AirTag in there. Let's call it a feature. But you know what? I, I'm not gonna really beat them for it. So, uh, you know, trying to get as many features in there as you can is part of the game, right? All right, let's see what else they got. The dual hinged lid can open from either side or be completely removed. The lid has multiple mounting points for more interior organization using number 10 screws. All right, again, the, the open from either side thing, that's, uh, that's their solution to the not doing the drawers. Uh, it, I mean, it's great, it's good to have. I don't know how many times I'm gonna be coming out of box from, from either side each time. I'm usually gonna set it up in a corner and just use it as a, as a station, if you would, to where you go to and get your tools and whatnot. As to the mounting points for the tools, uh, it's, I guess it's kind of similar to like what Flex does. I don't know how, you know, how much people are going to take advantage of it. I guess it's nice to get things up on the lid rather than down in the, uh, the container itself. But uh, I don't know, it, it seems like the, a lot of this is going to come up. You're going to see it's going to be very modular and dedicated for Makita. And yet we're doing everything with screw mounting points. So I don't know. The storage tray is designed to fit multiple batteries, charger, and more. Well, here we see something that's going to be a real negative if you're a non-Makita guy. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I am I love Makita. I started off with Makita back in the day. Uh, I think Makita makes a, a great product. But uh, if you're not doing Makita, this really isn't designed for you. Uh, could you make it work? I'm sure. But uh, the real benefit for this is going to be for the Makita guys. So if you're not doing Makita cordless, it's kind of like there's other better solutions probably out there for you. I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the rolling tool chest, the base of the MacTrack system, that make it stand out from every other system in the market. Where the competitors went vertical, we turned it on its side and went horizontally. The retractable handle of the rolling tool chest is side mounted to prevent hinge interference. The front of the rolling tool chest features a cleat mount system that allows you to attach the extra large extension box to the front. The robust industrial handle features rubberized gecko grips that latch onto a tailgate for easy loading and unloading. It seems they're going here with the, um, the horizontal, I should say, is going towards the guys who have the tano covers in their pickup trucks. It definitely seems like this is addressing that. I've got a hard tano cover 
and I need something that slides underneath it, which was a big negative with Packout and a lot of the other uh, tool systems when they came out. However, most have addressed it by now. Some of them, they're either making their collapsible handle to the point where it drops low enough so you can just put the, the rolling box in by itself, or the handle itself comes out so you can slide it in. And it's easy enough when you pull it out to pop that handle in and go. This feels like more, <laughs> I was gonna say a day late and dollar short. We're talking about a couple of years at this point late. Uh, in fact, a lot of this feels like it's really late to the game. And I hate dogging on Makita because I am kind of a Makita fan bear. You know, I love the teal, I, I love the tools, but it feels like they're kind of like a Johnny come lately who's like, you know what, we're not gonna appeal to everybody. Let's just keep pinging, pinging our, uh, our core uh, base, which is, uh, full-time professional contractors who work out of a pickup truck. Uh, and honestly, looking at this system, being that long, you know, if, I guess when I'm 18, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have batted an eye. But at 55, I'm looking at going, I don't want to lift that and drag that across a work site. I guess that's what, uh, what, what newbies are for, right? Anyway. By extending the space horizontally, we're able to fit long, common tools. All right, this is another big win for them. The, this is something you can't do. You just cannot address it with the uh, with, with the, the standard kind of tower systems. If you've got those big tools, like a demo hander, hammer with dust collector, uh, the, the nailers there, any of the, the super long kind of, of tools, they're, they're just not going to fit in a standard box. So if you're trying to keep everything in your modular tool system, this is about the only way you're going to be able to do it. The unique molly panel divider can be used to separate the box cavity or as a portable hand tool organizer. Seems like a well-made system. A unique molly panel doesn't seem all that unique to me. I mean, when you're using the words molly, the last thing I think of is unique. And we've seen panel systems like this, the flex system, some other ones they have that kind of storage. But let's see what else they're gonna talk about. Now, I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the large toolbox that shares the same long footprint of the rolling tool chest. The horizontal design allows for maximum accessibility, being able to open from either side without unstacking boxes. Boy, that unique, unique drum is one they like to hit throughout this, which is ironic considering how late to the game they are and that most of these features we've seen on other stuff. I mean, there are other brands out there that do the horizontal toolbox. They're not first to the market with that. They're not first to the market with, with uh, you know, modular panels either. Uh, calling it, I guess because it's Molly, which is pretty old school, uh, I guess that's the unique factor. But again, it feels feels a, a little, little rough to call something this late to the game unique. By extending the space horizontally, we're able to fit long, common tools. The unique Molly panel divider can be used to separate the box cavity or as a portable hand tool organizer. Again, it, we get it, it's long, you can fit long tools and you've got a unique panel organizer that's not all that unique. I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the extra large extension toolbox, the deepest box in the Mac Track system. The cleat mount system horizontally connects to the front of the rolling tool chest. The added depth is ideal for fitting oversized tools and accessories. Wow, they should just call that one the backbreaker because you're taking the biggest, deepest box you can load all the big heavy tools into and putting it at the furthest point from the fulcrum, from the lever, all the way up front where you're gonna have to do the clean and jerk to get that thing up. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be the new guy at the job site. It, that would kill you. Uh, and it's, it's also ironic because they show how big you can stack this and then the guy's walking around like it's nothing. It's, cl it's clearly an empty box or, or barely has any tools so it's not bouncing like an empty box. But the fact of the matter is they then turn and show you putting it easily into your pickup truck where it's gonna fit into your tanneo cover. And at that point, it's the slim stack, all right? So it's not that big giant. So you are gonna have to take things off if you have it loaded up to bear as it were, uh, if you wanna get it on, in your pickup truck. And I get it, I had my last pickup truck. I had a hard tanneo cover. I loved it. I've gone with the soft top, but I'm up in an area where I'm not worried about people peeking in and stuff like that. That said, um, I, it's, I don't know. We'll, we'll just wait till the end. We'll, we'll do our, the whole tale of the tape and whatnot then. 
I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the Medium Toolbox, a versatile box that is half the footprint of the rolling tool chest. The versatile size is ideal for holding tools, accessories, batteries, chargers, and small parts. The deep tray is open to hold a variety of hand tools, but also has rib dividers that allows you to compartmentalize that space. The shallow tray has integrated dividers to separate that space for small components. All right, my only takeaway at this point is the, the shallow tray with all the parts in it. Uh, except for dedicated parts organizers, which are great, those kind of systems, I've seen a lot of them at this point. They, you put it in the back of a truck, you drive around, drop it off, you right drag it across a, a work site. Inevitably, those pieces vibrate, separate each other, and you get those, you get screws and bits everywhere in your case. I just, maybe they fixed it, maybe they found a magical way of doing it, but every other one I've seen ends up with screws everywhere. Now, we'll go over the organizers. The organizer bins are designed to attach to a lid or screw mount to a wall. The clear lid makes it easy to see the contents inside the box, while the rib pattern prevents small parts from traveling from bin to bin. All right, well that's the bins and the, the compartment organizers like I was talking about before. They look great, they look fantastic. It looks like they have a good selection of them. In fact, they keep going on more into detail on each one. I'm gonna take that section of the video and put it at the end of the trail of the, uh, or the tail of the video. So you, if you wanna watch that part, you can. But I'm not really gonna comment on it because from what I saw, it was like, all right, there's stuff there. Yeah, I get it. Uh, but let's talk about pricing and availability, okay? All right, so it's available at a few places, uh, Toolnut, uh, some other ones. Acme Tools is probably the big one. That's where I'd probably go to get it. Uh, and I will, <laughs> I'll put a link to this down below. Uh, but let's talk about the prices on this. Well, first of all, let's talk about uh, actual dates because right now we're in the pre-order phase. Looks like expected shipping is going to start on Halloween. That's October 31st. Now let's talk about price. You can get the base tower system, as it were here, for a, a very fair $540. Whew. Well, it does say Makita on it, so we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, anyway, we got the three-piece with the uh, with the multi-bit part organizer there for $429. Here's your slimline uh, stack here coming in at $429, or slim-ish, I should say. The base unit itself is $250. To put that in perspective, that is basically the cost or near the cost of about every other three-piece tower system out there in that one box. Uh, the back breaker is going to cost you $129. Even the, the, the slim organizer is going to cost you $70. The cheapest one is the deep compact organizer. It's going to come in at $55. But let's talk about, let's be honest about this. This is not for 99% of the guys out there. It, it really isn't. It's it, Unless you're a, a pro who's deep in the Makita and transports via a work truck, like a pickup, and you've got some apprentices or some noobs on site who are going to lug this around for you. Uh, because it's, I mean, I guess if I'm buying it for my crew, so yeah, I wouldn't even want to buy it for my crew. I won't want to do that to them. But if you're hardcore into Makita and you're going to get something that's compatible, it's going to work with it, it's modular designed, it's designed to fit the batteries and the chargers and the whole nine yards, I get it. And, you, and it matches your Makita blue. I like Makita too. I love it. Um, but I don't, I don't see any DIYers going for this. That is, it, it's not it's not really feasible for somebody who's in, uh, you know, the DIYer is using it in their garage or the sh their small shop or wherever. They may take it with them. And they have these for either they don't want to invest in a, a big toolbox kind of thing or they transport it every so often. I don't even see prosumers or value pros looking at this. This is, as I said, it's, it's the guy who's deep in the Makita line who's a full-time pro, probably runs a decent size, you know, a small crew to a, to a decent size crew, uh, running out of pickup trucks because, you know, that's where the benefit of being able to slide under that Tano cover. I mean, can other people use it? Sure, there's no permit process that's going to make you say, oh, I can't, well, I can't, I can't pass the permit. <laughs> I'd not be able to get it. But, I mean, and you know I'm not a huge Milwaukee fanboy, but I, I think most people would, who are pros in that kind of realm would probably look at Milwaukee over this. 
Uh, the, the the tough build system from from uh, Dewalt that's a decent system. The Flex Stack, and of course, I'm a huge fan of the the uh, tough built. Shut up, from the tough built uh, Stack Tech system. That's a great one. Uh, again, for that at that professional of the rigid system, that's a decent one as well. It, it's a it looks like a great system, but it feels like it, it's a day late, a dollar short, and it is just so far tweaked towards the very one niche Makita user that I don't know how much uh, how much sell through they're going to get on this. It'll be interesting to see. Let me know if you're the guy who would buy this. Let me know what you're, you know, what you're, are you pro, are you, am I, am I wrong? Prove me wrong down in the comments. I want to hear about it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Anyway, till next time, you all take care, God bless. And as always, shine on. I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the Deep Medium Organizer, an ideal box for holding long fasteners and hand tools. With larger organizer bins, this has up to 40% more holding capacity than the leading competitors. The removable five inch deep bins are great for holding larger fasteners, but also have a space for a divider to hold smaller components. The organizer bins nest together for more space optimization. I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the low profile medium organizer, an ideal box for holding a wide variety of small components. With larger organizer bins, this has up to 50% more holding capacity than leading market competitors. The low profile design allows for efficient small parts organization. A variety of bin sizes organize small parts, large parts, and hand tools. I'm going to walk you through the unique features of the Deep Compact Organizer, an ideal box for long fasteners that is one quarter of the footprint of the rolling tool chest. With larger organizer bins, this has up to 25% more holding capacity than leading market competitors. The removable five inch deep bins are great for holding larger fasteners, but also have a space for a divider to hold smaller components. The organizer bins nest together for more space optimization. MacTrack is more than just a stackable toolbox system. It's the next generation in modular storage that's engineered for superior transportation, access, storage, and organization.